Hello ladies, this is Still Looking Good 58 and I am back with another wig review for you. This is Outre's Genie. She is in the color L L L R8 Honey Ash Blonde and she's 14 inches long. There she is close up. And this is what the color looks like. It's a golden blonde. It has light blonde highlights. It has dark blonde in it. Um, I think it's really pretty. And I saw Wigs and Wonderlust wear this, and I believe a couple of other people have reviewed it. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. It's a 13 by 4. It has two combs in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps, and an elastic band. I'm going to put the band on my head real quick so we can see how she's fitting my head. So right now I will tell you she is a bit snug. I have a 22 inch head as most of you know and she's feeling a bit snug on me. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason I can't even get the... Oh, it's the combs that are stuck. You know, most of the time I take these combs out. I haven't taken them out yet, but most of the time that's what I do. I take these combs out because they really get on my nerves. Alright, so here we are balance going okay so this is what she looks like just plopped on my head i think the color is pretty i haven't put my face on yet but i will let me show you what she looks like in the back yeah she's 14 inches i think she's really pretty she's a slacky color not yakky to me but silky yakky and i am probably going to pluck her a little bit so I'm going to go and do that and see if I can wear her glueless, okay? So I shall return. Okay, you guys, I'm going to use this Esha Melt Spray. And I'm just going to spray it all along the edge of this and see what we can do with it because I'm going to try to just lay it, lay it down with this Esha. Because um, I'm going to hold this until uh, I can get this on it. Hopefully that'll lay it down. In the meantime, um, this unit, as I said, I consider it a slacky, not so much yakky unit. And I got my glasses right here so I can tell you what the colors are. The colors are Blue Angel, French Lilac, Rosy Blonde, Ruby Espresso, DRFF4 Honey Auburn, DRFF4 Copper Balayage, DRST Chocolate Swirl and my color LR8 Honey Ash Blonde. This is a perfect hairline like I told you and uh, to me it's not really yakky. It's more of a slacky unit. So yeah. And I just got my nails done and I keep getting hair caught under my nails. I honestly think girlfriend didn't do a good job so I'm getting ready to go back to her as soon as I get off this review. I got hair stuck under my nails and that should not be the case when you get dips. So I'm going to go see her before this day is over. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to come back as soon as this is done. Okay, I am back with this thing on my head and we're going to see if this glue actually worked. Um, I, you know, wasn't trying to do too much with it, but... I wanted you guys to see, yeah, it, it stuck a little bit, but not that well. I didn't lay her down like completely because, you know, I don't think she necessarily needs, needs to be laid down completely, but I'm going to um, put some powder in the part and uh, I guess I can just put some of that hair behind my ear. But what do you guys think of the color? That's really the big thing that attracted me to this unit was this color. 
I really like this color. And uh, I think uh, giving her some room from the front, you know, gives her something. Um, yeah. And let's see, I can put some of my makeup on here so it doesn't look so ashy. So yeah, she's a tad bit glueless, <laughs> but not a lot. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe I should just make her a, a middle part instead of a side part. I don't know. Yeah, she's pretty like this too. Yeah. So my battery's running out, so I'll be back. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm back. What do you guys think of her? I think she's really pretty. I like the length of her. Um, I showed you the back already. She is a little thin at the bottom if you like that. Um, I'm gonna put a little powder here, in the middle here. But, um, because I was going to make her a side part, but I kind of felt like she might look better in the middle. So, yeah. And you can, you know, do whatever you want with her. She's going to be the kind of unit that you're probably going to have to put rollers in, hot rollers in from time to time, because she's going to lose these curls. She doesn't have much to begin with. So she's gonna lose what she does have. And you can kind of tell in the picture that, um, you know, especially in the black one, that they probably combed out, you know, some of this, some of these curls. But I, I do think she's pretty. I think she's a nice everyday unit. She laid down nicely. You know, I didn't have to do anything but put some powder on her. I mean, I did put a little bit of the Esha, and, and let's talk about this for a minute. I don't know how familiar you guys are with the whole controversy over the Eben and what happened with the employee there or whatever, but a lot of the uh, Wig reviewers are no longer using Eben because of that. I have been using this Esha for a long time and I really like it, so I've been turning some of my um, uh, Wig Bay friends onto it who weren't already aware of it. I found out about it through um, Kyra Sean. And so I was telling Brittany about it and the Hearts of Cake 90. I was telling Wheezy Wig Reviews about it and some other folks. So um, you may be seeing them using this or these Escher products a little bit more, um, I guess, while they figure out what's going on with this whole even situation. But uh, yeah, so that's what I use. And, and like I said, usually I will spray it on my forehead and dry it with the blow dryer. But I'm telling you, guys, I'm so tired today. I don't even know what is going on, but I'm tired. And uh, I've been out all day, and um, I just really didn't want to do a whole heck of a lot to this. So that's why I put um, it on top of the lace when I normally put it under. But I like her. She's easy. She's pretty. I love the color. You know, you, as you can see, you know, it doesn't, it's not even completely laid down, as you can see. And you can wear it glueless if you wanted to, because it's not even completely laid down here. But it still looks okay if you're not, like, all up in my face. <laughs> So if you guys are interested in Jeannie, again, I have her in the color LR8 Honey Ash Blonde. And she comes in some other colors. And again, she's a perfect hairline, 13 by six. Two combs in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. And I would suggest you take the combs out. Because the combs, if you don't take them out, if they flip up, they're gonna tear your lace. So you probably wanna take them out even before you get started so that you don't have to be bothered with that. I didn't take these out because I may sell this unit, but yeah. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and let me know how you feel about it in the comments. I will be back with a Bobby Boss unit very soon. They are sending me a new unit. Um, I can't even remember the girl's name, <laughs> but they're sending me a new unit and something special that they're going to start offering. So just stay tuned for that. Thank you so much again for watching, and as I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, and of course, so are you. See you next time.